throws Michigan State right back the other way. Joe Murphy in over the line. He pulls up, takes a look now, trying to get a pass. Oh, Joe Murphy was a star at Michigan State. A rising star is the Red Wings' number one pick in the 1986 NHL Draft. But that was 32 years ago. We went looking for Joe in the small Canadian town of Kenora, Ontario, a two-hour drive from Winnipeg. There's homeless people everywhere we turn. It, it's a bizarre juxtaposition. I mean, you have this tourist town that is beautiful. It's like Grand Haven or Traverse City. And you have an incredible homeless population. The weirdest thing about this whole story is everything he tells us. We don't know what's truth, what's truth in his brain, what, what is reality. Good guy. He's dealing with some mental health issues that we don't fully know what those mental health issues are, and I don't think he's he knows. He's got to see his two eyes. He's sitting his whole head, his hat. I I I, I do I doing these things. I uh I tried to sell them back then. There's not there's no much. There's not a market for these things. Did you play with Stevie Eiserman? I yes, I played with him in a training camp in the games. I call him Stevie Y. Why, why, Stevie, why? <laughs> no, but he didn't he do well. Joe played for several teams during his 15-year professional career. He left the NHL in 2001 and admits to suffering a series of concussions that affects him to this day. I um, suffered a horrific one in 1990 uh, in, in, in Joe Lewis of all places. And I'm going 35K kilometers, going full tilt, man. That's like going full tilt, your head in the wall. Man, and it fucked and I got, I got up too. Cause I, there's just natural instinct and I was all over the place. And it was, deba it, it was debilitating. I fractured my skull, everything. And it's on the thing there. I was out, I made it off, I couldn't believe it made it off the ice. And, and it affected me. I think I, I think I played concussed my whole career, man. Have you ever been diagnosed with anything? Well, yeah, I mean, I've, so I've been diagnosed with some head issues, yeah. Concussion and, you know, just problem. And as you grow older, you really get to know your body when you're feeling good, when you're not, when you're hungry, when you need sleep, and, and when you need to do things. So, and then you can look back and I can see that I've had some difficulties. The people in these places, like myself, have some mental illnesses. We do. Just at this gas station, mm -hmm. they let you hang out and stuff? They've been very kind to me in the town here. They knew who I, I never told anybody who I was going through this, ever. I never said my name, what I played, did nothing, and no one knew. I feel like I'm abusing the system, but I'm, people are giving me magma muffins and giving me hamburgers and, and really helping me, dropping off tens. They've been very kind. I'm... Well, I, I just feel that the people have been kind, and I don't, I'm not that type of person. I take those things. Jeez. <laughs> bad take I don't take things from people and I work hard for all my stuff I start working when I was like 10 and then you know, doing things and, you know now I'm not working and I'm just taking things out I don't I just I feel but I'm, I'm, I'm taking it and I'm, it's okay I, I'm receiving things now and, and but geez I, I I can't keep doing this I just I don't feel good like taking things from people I am um I woke up last night in the, in the, in the middle of the, uh, of the uh, uh, sleep one, and I was, I was I scored this game-winning goal in Game Seven, and to play one Stanley Cup again. It's just that type of lifestyle. Just all you know, love sports and I mean, I'd still be dreaming away winning games again. But you talk about dreams. You dream about having a roof over your head and three square meals a day. I haven't had one of them dreams lately. <laughs> <laughs> 